Number five, calculate the heat capacity in joules and in calories per degree of the following. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we have to find the heat capacity of 54, actually, hold on, 45. So 45.8 grams of nitrogen gas. And nitrogen gas is N2, right? Nitrogen is a diatomic. It's one of our diatomics. And it's in gas form. Okay, cool. So we have to find the heat capacity for 45.8 grams of nitrogen gas. There are a couple of things that we have to know in order to do this problem, which I wrote down here. Okay, one is a conversion. So we definitely have to memorize that, especially if your teacher or professor does not um, give you this on your quizzes or exams, right? One calorie, a unit for heat, is equal to 4.184 joules, a unit of heat energy. And we need to know the specific heat of nitrogen, all right? In this case, it's 1.040. Now, in order to answer this question, right, calculate the heat capacity, we need a formula. What's the formula for heat capacity? Oh, it's this, right? So I'm just going to put it over here. It's capital C equals M times S. Capital C is heat capacity, so that's what we're solving for. And the heat capacity, if we're using this formula, is always going to be in joules per degree Celsius. So in this case, we're going to find out the first one, joule per degree. The M is the mass, and that's always in grams, and good thing, they gave us a gram value, so perfect on that. And then the S is the specific heat of that certain compound or element or molecule. And the specific heat unit is joule per gram times a degree Celsius. The heat capacity units and the specific heat capacity units are very similar. However, you could always tell the difference between a capital C and a lowercase s is the gram value. If you have a gram value in there, it's your specific heat value. If you don't see a gram value, it's your heat capacity. So that's like a little trick. In this case, we have to find the heat capacity. So capital C equals the mass, right? M times S. Here's the mass, 45.8. So 45.8. I don't put my units in here. It's going to get like a little messy, but I just know, okay, I got to have grams first. And once I confirm that, I just put the number in. And then M times S, S is the specific heat. This is the information that we needed to know in order to answer the problem. So the specific heat of nitrogen gas is 1.040. If you're using a textbook, um, these values would be in your textbook. It's usually on a table, or you could look up the specific heat of nitrogen gas online. Um, it will tell you that answer as well. So let's calculate C equals Heat capacity of nitrogen gas, 45.8 times 1.04. And since we started off with three sig figs, we should end with three sig figs. So in this case, it's 47.6. And the unit that comes first is the joule. So this would be joule per degree Celsius. And that's your first answer. Now, we just have to find out what this number would be in calories per degree Celsius. So this is just a conversion. We've done plenty of conversions, right? So we're going to use the conversion factor that we know. One calorie equals 4.184 joules. And just notice that we're talking about a lowercase c here. You see how they said lowercase c? It's not a capital C. Capital C for calorie is actually a kilocalorie. So the conversion would be different. So just make sure of that, guys. In this case, they want us to find the lowercase c. So this is the specific uh, conversion factor for lowercase c calorie. Okay, so 47, oh, that was an, that was an ugly four. 47.6 joules per degree Celsius. We're just converting the joules into calories. So if I'm converting, I just multiply by a ratio. You always put the unit you don't want on the opposite side. So in this case, it's got to go on the bottom. And the unit that you want is the calorie. So I'm just going to put cal for short. And now I use the 
numbers of the conversion factor. They told me that there was one calorie, so one calorie, with 4.184 joules. So 4.184 goes with the joules. The unit joules cancels out, and now the only units that I have left are calorie over degrees Celsius, and that's what they wanted, calorie per degree. So let's do the math. The 4.184 is on the bottom, so that's division. So 47.6 divided by 4.184. Keeping with the three sig figs, I get roughly 11.4. And that's now calorie per degree Celsius. And this is specific for nitrogen gas. So here are your two heat capacities. 47.6 joules per degree Celsius, and then 11.4 calories per degree Celsius. That's it, guys. Let me know if this helped. Let me know in the comments. If you want, you could like the, the, the video if it helped you out. And subscribe to the channel. That will help us out, and it gets the word all over the world that this service exists. I think it's a pretty cool service. What do you guys think? Um, I hope you guys have a great, great day. And keep studying hard, okay? I believe in you guys. You guys rock. And yeah, let's do this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.